If you've ever been watching a video and then all of a sudden something came up on screen and then you saw like, here's a pineapple, right? And you're like, how do they do that? Well, I wanna show you how to place a pineapple. Hey everyone, welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. I am Shelly. If we have not met, hello, how are you? It's nice to have you here on my channel. I am doing life hacks, tech tips, and beauty videos. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, consider subscribing. One thing I do want to talk about is how to do an overlay the right way. So when I say, hey guys, here's a pineapple, what I don't want to see is, hey guys, here's a pineapple. Do you see the difference? Okay, there's a reason that it looks like that with that ugly white border and we're gonna get into it right now. Make sure when you're looking for an image online that you add PNG to the end of whatever you're looking for. Then you're going to see a transparent background that looks like a checkerboard. Save an image to your computer and we're gonna move on to the next step. Open up iMovie and stop on a frame where you want your item to appear. Now you want to drag the image that you just saved, in my case it's the pineapple, down onto the timeline on top of your clip. Uh oh, it looks a little wonky, right? We're going to go up to the menu and hit picture in picture so we can see the whole thing. We're going to drag it above about the area that we want the image to appear. Now we're going to select this menu up top and we're going to hit fit. iMovie tries to add Ken Burns by default and we always have to go in and turn it off. Go ahead and play with the size until it's as large as you want it to be. Once you're happy with the placement, you're going to want to play back the entire clip that you just added. You're going to see my pineapple fades in. You may like that effect on, but I didn't, so I wanted to turn that off, and I'm going to play it back one more time to make sure that it doesn't fade anymore. iMovie does have some limitations where you can only do one overlay at a time, which can be problematic if you wanted to do something like, hey guys, check out my Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and Tumblr. So here's how you're going to fix that. Fire up a photo editor, I'm using picmonkey.com, hit design, custom size, 1920 by 1080. When you're choosing a canvas color, select the transparent background so you have an entire canvas of checkerboard. Export a still frame from your video so that you have it for size and reference. Then you're going to import it as an overlay for your project. I've imported the first pineapple with a transparent background, and now I'm going to add the second pineapple that I've downloaded that has a white background. Now it's pretty obvious why you want to download a transparent background PMG as opposed to a regular JPEG or other photo that has a white background. Now that we have the pictures in place, we're going to select the layer tool, select the background, and we're going to erase it so what we're left with is a transparent background with two pineapples. Select the export button at the top and you're going to save this file as a PNG on your computer. Once it's saved, we're going to fire up iMovie and put it all together. Same as before, you're going to select the frame where you're going to want to start your overlay and drag that down into the timeline. If you notice, my pineapples are dancing away from me and that's not what I want again iMovie has the Ken Burns on by default and you need to take it off. Because your still frame is the same size as the blank canvas that you created, you shouldn't have to do much zooming or working with this. All right, everyone, that is gonna wrap it up for stationary overlays. Get familiar in this video with you know, how to use overlays, how to get PNGs with the transparent backgrounds, how to put them on top of your timeline and positioning them. This is the foundation for doing more animations with keyframes. So that means something is here, and then it's gonna dance over here, and then it's gonna come back over here. So I think that one's really fun. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you have different tips or tricks that you wanna learn, or you're curious and you don't know how to do an iMovie, leave it as a comment so I know what you guys wanna see next in the Editing 101 series, cause I actually like putting these videos together and I have a lot of fun with them. As always, I hope you guys are doing so awesome. I will see you guys in this video very soon. Bye guys!